Good afternoon guys, uh, just wanted to make a tattoo update video today about um, my last tattoo progress Wednesday and uh, kind of where I'm at going forward. So the last time I left I had done, finished up my stomach area and um, uh, just had the ribs left and uh, a little bit of addition on the bottom and then um, this last appointment that we just did, we did my nipples again for the fifth time. Just gonna lower the camera. Um, so my nipples were re-blacked and we blacked out the top tentacle here. Um, we did this whole armpit, got rid of the goat side that was in there. And uh, we carried the black all the way down. Wow, there's still a little bit, but we did quite a bit of the rib. And uh, we did into this part of the rib over here too. So we started here and we went all the way over and then into the armpit and then down and we did the nipples as we passed them. So we had a really productive day and it was the day we needed to have because we're kind of up against it time-wise. Um, I do have another appointment coming up Sunday, um, but with so much healing, we're gonna be doing um, an addition to the bottom of the, of the torso, like kind of going towards the waist. I have this uh, negative space right now and uh, that's going to get filled up this next time. And uh, with whatever time we have left over, we're going to head onto the left rib, um, basically where we left off, uh, and get as much of that out of the way as we can. Um, basically because uh, my artist is leaving in a few months, so we want to get this torso wrapped up uh, so that I'm not starting it with someone else when he's gone. I'd like to get it all finished up with him and then I don't have to worry about you know getting it finished with another artist because you don't really want to be doing that uh you want the artist working on something to finish it so we're making some pretty radical pro progress on it right now um and I was super excited to get all of that done in one go but uh as you can see I'm wearing uh Sanoderm again um it almost came off. I didn't think I was going to be able to keep it because it is such a long piece that goes like from here all the way down, kind of like a, like an L shape. Um, but luckily I was able to keep my Sanderm wrap on. Um, it was pretty like plasma full. Um, there was a lot of blood and it just kind of started to drip a little bit, but, um, fortunately, um, with the benefit of experience, I know that if your Sanderm wrap um, gets a bit of a tear in it, or if it gets a little bit slimy at the bottom or whatever, whatever, if there's a little bit of moisture seeping out of it, it's not necessarily the end of the world if you can't patch it up. Um, the minute I could feel it run, I, uh, I shifted position. So I was sitting when the blood ran, so it was all kind of uh, pressed to a certain space. Um, so instead I went and I laid down for a while and then, um, all of that blood kind of, uh, blood and plasma kind of worked into different areas of the tattoo. Like it kind of, uh, it's hard to explain, but it kind of ran into other directions. And then, um, eventually it reabsorbs. Like all that blood doesn't sit loose on you. Eventually your skin will reabsorb it. And, uh, so luckily I was able to keep my Sanoderm because I didn't really want to be healing all of this um, work that we did without it. It's always nice to keep it on. It's uh, basically my preferred way to heal these days because um, it kind of minimizes the fuss. Basically I'll keep this on probably until Sunday or Monday. When I take it off, the tattoo will basically be healed and I didn't really have to worry about it at all. Um, especially when you're doing like big big spaces that can give you a real breather um, if you can keep it on. Um, Sanoderm actually is easier to keep on smaller places and, and uh, definitely would be no problem at all to keep on if you weren't using or if you weren't doing black work tattoos like I am because um, the more plasma that it creates um, the more likely it will be to kind of ooze off. So yeah. Um, a lot of people are asking me now what I'm planning on doing because I keep saying this journey isn't over, ba ba ba, all that. Um, keep watching, um, especially with the people who are watching my YouTube and know that my 
tattoo artist will be leaving. Um, people keep kind of wondering where am I going from here? Like what's next? Well, what's next is um, I'm gonna keep these skulls because I think that they're cool, but I need to touch them up. And uh, the artist who did this chest piece, it's gonna be the one that does them. Um, obviously this skull is nicer than this skull, I think. Um, he did the one on the top of my head too. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, his work ages really, really well. He did not do these skulls. Um, the guy who did, he didn't uh, didn't do them both the same. So I've always kind of been a little unhappy with how they are. But uh, it's all about um, what do you do and when do you do it. You know, uh, I've got a million ideas about things to do, but uh, there's only so much time in a the day. There's only so much money, you know, so. Basically, it's about getting to it. So, uh, real quick again, we're going to fix up these skulls, which means darkening them. Um, one of them is actually lighter than the other. This one's the light one, so they're not the same gray wash used. Basically, I want to get rid of all that gray wash. I want to solid black these eyes and really uh, increase the, uh, the detail and make these look a whole lot meaner. Because right now they're looking a little weak against that solid black. Just get them more black contrasted like this up here. Like if I could match them up with the wings, they'd be cool. Um, and then after that, uh, after we're done that, we're going to be heading on to these teeth. So let's just pull it up. Um, I want to get these teeth redone by the same guy. I think that they can be a lot blacker and a lot more like punchy. Um, so that's going to be another one that I'm going to be working on soon. Um, I am, I think I said in an earlier video, I am planning on blacking out the rest of my arms. So the lacrimosa and like the spawn and stuff like that, those are going to go. Um, on top of that, I've still got some stuff to rework on my head. For one thing, I'm going to darken this guy up a bit because he's a bit light in contrast to some other things that I've got going on there. So I just want to bring him out a bit more, make him darker so it'll stand better age better, all that stuff, and uh, there's no better time to be doing head tattoos than when I'm voluntarily bald. I mean, um, it would be one thing if I want to touch it up and I've got my hair and I'm committed to growing my hair, then, well, it's not getting touched up then, right? So I'm bald now, so I may as well do it while I'm bald before I uh, get my hair back. So that stuff will be coming up right away after um, this black project's done, after the torso is all finished, which should be within a month or so. Um, I'm gonna do my hand again, one more time. So third pass on the hand. Uh, it's pretty dark now, but there are some places obviously that didn't take as well. You know, that's the best it's gonna look. If I bend, it's not as good, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do that again and I think um, three passes is probably going to be where I call it for now, not like forever, um, just for the near term, um, until I get a lot more of where I'm going next finished up. I've got some big projects. Um, gonna, gonna definitely be reworking my legs. Um, my legs are, I would say 80% covered. Um, that's where the, uh, 10% of my bodysuit is not done is uh, the the 20% or so of my leg tattoos. Uh, and basically what that means is my feet are done, my ankles are done, my calves are done, my shins are done, my knees are done, my thighs are done, like everything is done. Uh, the backs of my knees, all of that the big work is done. Um, there's quite a few fillers in there too. For anyone who's seen my legs, you'll know what I mean. They, they're not bare by any means, but they're not heavily saturated like I am up here, right? Like they're not wall to wall saturation like what I've got going on now. There's a lot of skin breaks and stuff, but that's kind of okay. I was kind of always like leaving that because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. It wasn't like, oh, well, I'm never going to do it or like I, I, I don't know. My leg tattoos didn't take the back burner necessarily. I've got quite a bit of work down there and some of it I love. But now, now that I've gotten farther into this tattoo journey and I'm kind of seeing where I want to be going with it, um, I'm kind of glad I didn't waste the time with any more of the fillers. Like I was doing all kinds of little fillers. Like 
I've got dragon balls and bats and like a little sun and a little moon and just different crap like that down there where it's like, yeah, it looks kind of nice, but it, it's clearly just there to, to fill space. Um, a lot of that stuff's all just going to be getting blacked out. And I, I've been telling people that that project's going to begin next year, partially because I'm not exactly sure. Like I, I'm definitely sure I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to be rehoming. Like I'm going to be figuring out who my permanent artist is again. And um, that's going to be a bit of a, um, a process in itself, uh, finding the right fix and what works. Um, but it's it's not slowing down. It's just it might take a bit of a, a break, but not the kind of break where you don't get tattooed for months. It's more like I might only go every two weeks for a little while while I'm figuring it out. And that almost seems like a logical thing to do for me for a little while. Um, just because um, this torso is the meat of what's left. Once I get onto my legs... It's just, it's going to be quick because there's some things I'll probably keep. And then there's, you know, not a whole lot of space that's bare. So it's going to be slim pickings down there. I mean, it is likely that I'm going to black out everything eventually. But once I get the torso done, that's been the bulk of where I wanted to focus my efforts. So um, the legs are going to kind of be okay for me to take a little while with. My legs have always been that way anyway. I mean, it probably comes down to the fact that it seems to me that men get their tattoo mostly on their uh, torsos. And it seems like leg tattoos women seem to enjoy more. Um, not that I don't like leg tattoos or anything like that. Like I said, mine aren't bare. I'm not afraid to show them off. Like, I've seen some guys, they'll have like a big full torso and they've got like one leg tattoo. It just looks like really off balance. Um... And I don't look that off balance, but certainly a little. So it will be nice to start straightening that up. But I think that doing one every two weeks for a little while um, is probably a little bit of a breather for me. And uh, just kind of um, like kind of like a growing pain or like, you know, figuring out the next step. Um, I want to take my legs. I don't want to take them slow, but I want to make sure that it's the way I want it. I don't want to rush into it. Like lots of people think that the black work is something I'll regret, but um, the, the main components that I said I would keep from the beginning are still there and they're not going anywhere. It's just about um, figuring out how to improve them. Like I said, the skulls are going to stay, the eyes staying, um, and the chest piece is staying. It's just about making those things as good as possible. I mean, um, I've gone to great lengths to bring this eye back to life. Like, it didn't used to be this um, solid. It was pretty weak for a little while. But I knew that if I wanted to bring it into my new suit with how saturated it was going to be, I was going to have to hit this thing with some serious color, get it in there so that it's not weak. Um, because anything sitting next to this black that isn't strong looks washed out in comparison. But that's why these teeth, they need some real work, and so do these skulls. Um, I may even eventually go into this chest piece again and make it a little bit darker as well, but that'll be down the road. But yeah, I just felt like uh, it was getting time that I kind of do a, an update on where I'm going with this. Um, you know, it could seem crazy to some people that I keep saying this journey is barely started yet for me um after the legs are done then that's when we start talking about white ink and what do i do with white ink i'm interested. i'm sure by that point i'll have worn the black long enough that um there might be some more ideas for that it might seem more um present to me um, right now it's still just admira uh, admiration of the black and enjoying the new suit um who knows by the time i get through my legs in a year or two here um, I may have a new direction to go with, with white ink. I've even seen people do full color over black, believe it or not. I, I, I don't know how they do it, but I've seen it done where they just use color theory to pound color over black. It's crazy. Um, I can't remember the artist. Um, my artist showed me a full color piece that was done over black work. And, uh, that's something to ponder too. 
Um, this isn't the end, though. People keep thinking, oh, well, what are you going to do after the black? Well, I just said quite a few things, and uh, basically the sky's the limit, it seems like, these days with tattooing. Um, it's really hard to, to say if there is anything that can't be done. Uh, people are pulling some crazy tricks these days. Anyway, I'm pretty tired, a uh, long day at work, and uh, I'm ranting a bit, so... If you guys enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, be sure to share them with your friends and uh, follow me at Ephemeral Remy on Instagram. Have a good day.